Hey, Rainbow here, and welcome to my channel. Fresh haircut. Feel pretty good, actually. I like short hair. I tried long hair. Anyway, getting off the subject. So, uh, as you guys know, I put up a video about um, unboxing of the uh, Insta360 Ace Pro. Then I did another video of why I swapped over, and it was really because of an audio problem. So, a lot of people have requested, they reached out to me. So, today I'm going to show you my actual Moto Vlog setup with the Insta360 Insta Ace Pro. Let's take a look at it right now. Well, this is going to be an easy one. It should be relatively quick, but I know I have a tendency to you know how I am. Anyway, we're going to take a look um, at the helmet that I use. We're going to all, because well, I use two different brands, two different models, but three different helmets. But for the most part, I only use one or two helmets. We'll get into that. We'll talk about the chin mount and then the lavalier. See? Hear that? I actually don't even use this one. I use a completely different one on the bike, but it looks the same. It's a lavalier, so let's get started. All right, first things first, the helmet. It's a Shoei, it's the RF1400. Why did I choose this one? Well, I chose this one specifically because this one is a very quiet helmet. You don't get a lot of noise like you do with some of the other helmets. The other one that I use a lot is the AGV K6. I wear that more than anything because it's significantly lighter than anything that I can find out there. So it gives me a little bit more comfort and I think they have kick-ass winch screens. Uh, but Shoei has eh, some decent ones available. But anyway, right off the bat, the Shoei RF1400 is the helmet. Next thing is the chin mount. It's a chin mount for a GoPro, but they're all about the same anymore. This one is by Ride Tech. I believe they're out of Canada. I've been using them. I have them on three different helmets. I like them. Um, I do have a little issue where you can tell that they're 3D printed because this little string, if you could see over here, starts to come off and it starts to unravel a little bit. So I just wish that Ride Tech would do a better job of sealing that off so that this doesn't come off. But anyway, custom chin mount so that it fits perfectly on here. All right, next we have the actual Insta360 Ace Pro. Again, there's a video on that right up there. I'll show it again. And um, along with it comes this, you buy this mount that when you get like the motorcycle kit and that's gonna clip into the bottom, we'll show you. And then any GoPro, any off-brand, whatever you want, Insta360 probably makes something for it, but I've ha I had so many GoPro pieces of equipment and off-brand ones, like this one's actually metal or aluminum, uh, that I just use what I had, and then of course it's gonna come with this. So we're gonna put all this stuff together, but none of this we would be any good without good audio and let's look at that next and of course i use a sure s-u-r-e lav microphone that's relatively short and one of the things that i do use if you can see on here is there's only three segments see what there's only two um black bands in there three segments because the three full segments are what fit best on this 3.5 millimeter when you fit into this piece right here, which is really all you need, it's like 20 bucks to go into the uh, Insta360 Ace Pro. Again, don't forget, if you're gonna do it, even on a GoPro one, you only want the three segments. You don't want where it has, where it's split up into four segments on this 3.5 millimeter right here. Okay, we're gonna try some focusing stuff here. On the bottom of the Ace Pro, and that should be in focus any second. You have these clips and a little bit of a magnetic stuff there. Well, that's where you're going to put in the bottom piece that I'm gonna snap in for you right now. All right, and, and by the way, this is gonna be for anything. So this just simply snaps into place, okay? Boom, you hear it click in. You really want to push hard to make sure that it definitely clicks in. And once you do, that's not going anywhere. All right, next, when this is facing forward, on the left side, you pop this door off. You have to remove the door. And then you're going to get this piece right here. 
that takes the jack, all right, and you're just going to, and it has a connector that fits in here. You're simply just, oops, going to snap it in place. So now this is in place. Go ahead and get your piece. This is what it looks like. I have the one that's actually from GoPro. It's got the little piece of rubber in there. Slide it into place, snap the rubber in, and now you're ready to mount the camera, which is really easy. You're just going to put this in just like you would with any other one. Secure it down in place. And then now you have a lot of range on this. So one of the things that's important, let me kind of show you guys this, is that you have something that's long enough here to take it far enough away. It won't be in your way because your vision's coming from up way up top here, all right? But you want to be able to, because if I had this too close, I wouldn't be able to open or close this. So I see I, now I can open and close, okay? So what you want to do is you want to have it back all the way or close to it. You'll adjust it once you get on the bike. And it's quite simple. You just take this three and a half millimeter jack with the two rounds. So there's three full pieces only, not four. Snap it in place. And then I literally just wrap this thing around a couple of times until there's just a little bit left. Okay. That's kind of all I do. I just keep wrapping it so it doesn't come flying around. I don't make it too tight so that it's creating a problem or swinging up in front of the lens. I've had that problem before. All right, so I just wrap it around a whole bunch of times, not super tight because we don't want to um, kink it or anything. All right, and then towards the end, I just come in and I just flop it inside here. And if you want, at this point, you can just grab some like tape and then just tape it down in place so that it doesn't move. Um, and make sure that you have what we call a dead cat. You have the furry on it. Okay, so make sure you have that on there. So you just keep it in front of you right where it would be. And there's something else that's really important with this. Now, the last thing that's important is for you to go ahead and test this out and make adjustments in the Insta360 Ace Pro. What I love about this is that it actually has settings so I can be like plus six minus three my, you know plus three d db so that it works better because once you close this <coughs> visor what happens it gets very echoey in there and of course on some of my videos you've heard me breathing so what you can do is you can just change it and have the decibel down so that it takes a little bit more for it to kick on and pick up your voice it's not like it's um uh, what we call that voice activated. It's not like that, but anyway, you can make adjustments on here then you can't make those adjustments on GoPro. So anyway, that's it. That's what my system looks like. Now I do have the ability if I wanted, I can go and I can just get a separate lab and I have a, two different recorders I can put in my pocket, but I'd rather have my audio synced directly to the camera so I don't have to be syncing audio and having those problems. This is pretty lightweight, really doesn't bother me. Um, it's a quiet helmet. And one other thing that I do do is I leave the chin curtain on the bottom here and that's so that it helps cut some of that wind cutting up and inside. And that's it. This is Rainbow. Please like, please subscribe. I hope this was helpful to you. Have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.